My knife is definitely not this sharp at home. Crushed it. I made that. Okay, so for the start of our morning, we are gonna be making some coffee cake. They're getting ready. This is at the York County Jail. This is one of their working programs where the residents actually come in, they help make muffins, different types of breakfast items, certain food throughout the day. And I'm actually gonna be helping them make those muffins and the coffee cake and some of the different items here this morning. I'm excited. It feels really invigorating and really kind of different from what we do, but also the same exact thing as what I do on a regular basis here for Mother Makes It. So let's get into it. <laughs> I hate them so much. Okay, everybody, we are here at the York County Jail. I have Molly O'Connor with me. She is the food service director for Aramark at the York County Jail. Yes. Did I get that all? Yep. It's a very, very long <laughs> title. Okay, so what are we making today? We're making coffee cake today. Love coffee yep. cake. Lee That's Goldberg great. notoriously loves coffee cake, so we'll be very excited. <laughs> this very large thing just go on here? Yep. Oh. Slip it right on and then twist. Perfect. This is much larger than the mixer I have at home. <laughs> so, um, tell me, what brought you here? I feel like this is very different than a regular kitchen, but also the exact same thing as a regular kitchen. Yeah, it is. It is very similar and totally different. There's, um, you know, there's a combination between corrections and also kitchen work. Um, so, about a year and a half ago, I got into recovery and I wanted to do something a little different. Um, and something to keep me accountable and motivated and so I decided to get a job here which was right down the road from where I lived and um, I got into this. Okay. So wait, what did we just put in here Molly? We just put coffee cake in there. Coffee cake mix in there? Yeah. Everybody's favorite, just yep. like making it at home, yep. literally like the same mix probably. Yeah. Yep. Easy enough. Yeah, super simple. We will just kind of add the ingredients together, make a, a cinnamon sugar crumble on top. Um, so we pretty much, as simple as you would take it, just add water at home. Yeah, pretty Same much, thing. yeah. Honestly, great in my book. Um, I mean, so as far as this is concerned here, I mean, is it almost like you can kind of, kind of help, them, help people out? You can get yeah. the ability to just kind of give back in a way. Yeah, I mean, it's, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't call it like giving back necessarily, but it is showing, like being an example um, and showing that like, you can, you can be an underdog or be somebody that's struggling with whatever mental illness or some kind of ailment. And, and you know, sometimes people get to get better in the conventional way and some people it's more unconventional, like unfortunately being a resident here. And people take that and learn from that and they take that as a lesson and learn to grow. And the inmates in here get the opportunity to um, see that, see that you can succeed and um, overcome your struggles and, um, you know, take pride in something. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. You're helping them along that journey. Yeah, I try to. <laughs> I think you already are. Yeah. You crushed that. Okay. Okay. So what's next? We're going to mix some water and stuff in here? Yes. Okay. Um, well, yes. I'm going to ditch you. I'm going to actually <laughs> go with one of the residents and learn. Okay. Um, what's coming up next on Mother Makes It, you guys? Okay, everybody, we are here at York County Jail for Mother Makes It today. I have one of the residents with me, John. Can you tell me about some coffee cake that we're going to be making today? Absolutely. So, with Molly earlier, we put the mix in the mixer, a very large mixer, and now all we have to do is add water. Add water and stir. That's great. Very simple. Um, we measured some out. This is literally just water and mix. That's all. Just pour it in. Pour about half of it in to start. Okay. That's pretty and good. Then we'll close the gate. Close the gate. Okay. Yeah. Want to wrap it up over there, wind it up. Nope, this one here. Oh, oh. This one here. Spin, spin, <laughs> spin that wheel all the way up. I would never guess that I would mess up on one of these segments. <laughs> all right, lift straight up. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> I should not have volunteered for that. <laughs> it's actually really heavy. All right, now just take a good scoop out of there. How heavy would you say this is? That's uh, at least well, the, the mix is 25 pounds, and then oh, the bowl is probably 25 pounds. So, so like 100,000 pounds. That's what I heard. <laughs> right. Strongest person in the world. We just scoop this, how much? Like a whole scoop? One whole scoop, yeah. Okay, so, oh, this is heavy as well. So yeah. we're here making, baking right now. Does this, do you like right. this? Do you like baking in here? I like baking, I enjoy it. Did you, this, 
I mean, is this something you get to look forward to each day? Is it kind of... Yeah, it's definitely uh, it breaks up the monotony of the jail, breaks up, uh, breaks up the day, gets you out of the, out of the unit for a while. Um, and it's just rewarding to know that you're you know, feeding 260 people every day. Yeah, I mean, it's taking like all their fat cakes, you know. And <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, yeah, it's like you get to, I feel like for a lot of, like for me, it's like cooking or baking is like a, like a break it's relaxing, from my day. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's relaxing. Yeah. And this is like a relaxing. Especially in a hostile environment, you know what I mean? You come down here, just get in your own little, own little world. Your own little bake away, right, to like bake away and definitely passes the time. To get away from it all a bit more. Should I do two of these? Yeah, yeah, grab like another half of one out of there. Oh, half of one? Okay. Yeah, you were like, why are we talking? You got work to do. Is that good? Perfect. Yeah. I get that though. That makes sense. It's like, it's the same as... You know, just grab that little pie looking thing and kind of spread, spread it, spread it spread out. evenly, yeah. Okay. Okay, what's the next step after this? Now we'd make our... Uh, we got to make the crumble that goes on top. Okay. Okay. I think we have to go for now. Okay, everybody. From either makes it, we are still here at the York County Jail. I have resident Don with me. We are still making coffee cake. <laughs> yeah. This is. I'm very excited. I just want to like dip my finger in here because <laughs> I heard people battered. eat it sometimes. They it's do. They the do. best part. It's amazing. But now we get the best part, which is the crumble. Can you walk me through making this whole section of it? Yeah. We'll just uh, take our ingredients. What are, any Put of them? them? All of them. Yeah. Just okay. So we got dump them all in the bowl. Sugar. It doesn't matter what order. No sir. You can't mess it up. It's literally just like a box one, but separate. Dump the cinnamon in there. Okay. Hey, I have this weird thing where I hate touching powdery things like this. <laughs> dump your butter in there. I know it makes no sense. And then just take your mitts and just kind of <laughs> crumble it all together. <laughs> <laughs> just like. Absolutely. Get in there. I feel like this would be like a very entertaining start to your day. Have you baked before this at all? Uh, no, no, never, never before, but I've been doing it now for the last seven months, I believe. Seven months? Yeah, do you enjoy it? Much. I do, I do. It's definitely, it's relaxing, like I said, you know what I mean? It takes the stress out of the day here. Do you think you'll want to bake after that? I was actually thinking about it. Um, we just graduated that class for Airmark there, the serve safe class, so they, uh, to help you get employment when you get out of here, so um, I've been really thinking about taking it up. And uh, that's awesome. Yeah. I actually took that class back in the day as well. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We just got our serve safe uh, a week ago, week and a half ago now. That's awesome. Somebody weren't told me when I took that class that it ruins your life in the sense that you learn all the proper ways to do food safety, so you're paranoid. You never for the want rest to eat again, right, right? You're very paranoid forever after you do it. Now what do I do? That's probably good right there. Yeah, let's clean your gloves off. Kind of mix them together and uh, yeah, take you this said cup use that here, cup. That's grab awesome a nice though. scoop, and then just kind of cover the top of the crumble. You said use a lot. But yeah, like a yeah, they, 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 they complain if you don't put enough on. <laughs> Nobody wants like a not crumbly enough. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to finish this up here, then we're going to toss it in the oven. Okay, we are here at the York County Jail still for Myler Makes It. We are in the gymnasium now. I have Belinda Peterson with me. She's the into work manager for Aramark. I also have Andrew, Don, and David with me. They're some of the residents here. And they're some of the graduates today as well. Now, Belinda, tell me about this whole program we got going on here. So Aramark has created an into work program, and this program is to help facilitate these gentlemen getting their serve safe certification from the National Restaurant Association. Um, that serve safe certification that these guys have earned, um, it's just that, they earned it. Um, we're very proud of what they've accomplished and very impressed with their scores. I mean, it's tough to get, like I have had one uh, expired, but it's a lot of food safety. Tell me about like how that's good for the future. So with the serve safe certification, anybody that serves food, has to have a serve safe certification. So when these guys get released, they can actually go out to a restaurant, to um, a, a gas station community somewhere, and they can say, hey, I've got my serve safe certification. That's one less thing that that company has to pay for. And these guys know safety. They understand the processes that um, serve safe has put forth. And it's a, a very prestigious certificate. That's you guys. Yeah. <laughs> now, 
as they go along in the future, I mean, why do you think this is important to really teach these kind of programs here to really help them after they get out? The, the thing that makes it for me is that we give hope. And with hope with these guys is important because... <clears throat> Let it out. Hope is something that they don't get. And when you don't have hope, you're going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. And that's what we want to stop. We want to stop them from having the, the coming back and doing that, those crazy things and get out in their community and be a part of what they can accomplish out there with these people. These are guys that made a mistake. These are guys that have families that they have to take care of. And by having this certification, it gives them that opportunity to take care of their family members. That's awesome. That's awesome. And I mean, I can say from being here today, I didn't know what to expect coming in, if we're being totally honest. I mean, I don't think you could. <laughs> um, I had the best time here. I mean, you guys are the nicest people. We've had, I've been laughing all day long. I don't know if you have, but yes. I'm not that funny. Um, <laughs> that yes. was an opportunity to say I'm funny. <laughs> Oh, that was so rude. But we'll go to the coffee cake to transition away from me apparently not being funny. But I've had a great time with y'all. We have lots of coffee cake for everybody to yes. try because it looks good. I tried the batter already and it was delicious. So thank y'all for having me. Cheers to the coffee cake. This is great. Enjoy. I can't wait to see you guys working at a restaurant someday and hopefully making more coffee cake because mm. this is pretty good. This is very good. I stopped eating on camera. Well, on that note, bye, guys. Thank you. See you next one.